he's going to come on um, Tuesday just to mark it up exactly for us. Under no circumstances must you ever copy what we're doing here because it's. Good Tuesday morning, and what a morning it is! Yeah. And it's what? It's barely morning. What time is it? Half eleven. Start. Let me just check my watch. <laughs> yeah, quarter to twelve. Oh, quarter to twelve. So we're late because um, it was raining this morning. It's pitch black, and we've had to completely empty the van of every every single item. Give it a quick clean because the van's going today. So we've had to clean it out. That's what's told us up, and then we've got here. We're having a bit of a tidy up because the ship's going to go before Christmas and set the trestles up on the outside for the pike so we can get, get the, everything spot on over the top. It's a bit more awkward to set up that way, but we don't need the trestles to wrap round. We're just going on a straight pike now so we can do it from the outside. Um, Lintel's ready to go on. Alex is about to do a mix after his bacon butty. And I'm just going to nip off to Fairwoods because I forgot the damp course and the wheat vents because the first thing that goes on top of that lintel is a cavity tray and vents. So your mum's getting a mix in and then um, once we're set up, I'm gonna hop outside and get all the glue off the van where all the rest used to be. So um, yeah, there's not gonna be much filming today because we forgot the camera. Like I say, we took everything out of the van. So we might set the camera up occasionally if we can, if we can find somewhere to put it without it getting damaged. So um, we'll see when uh, something's happened. There we go. I'm back from picking the damp up, which I forgot, and the vents. So Alex is loaded out, got a mix in, and we're all set to go. I'm just going to get a few on here. Once it's all set up, I'm going to hop outside and start cleaning the van while Alex carries on. Do you have the vents? Mm. Have the vents? Yeah, over there. I've got little brown peat vents. So, um... <laughs> Hey there. That's all he had. Oh. It's the, the size of it doesn't matter. So, um, there you go. That's what we're up to. We've only got two and a half hours left. Two hours? If that. He's, he's picking it up at three. Ten past three. It takes ten minutes to the station for me, mate. Well, you've got, to, you've got to get it cleaned, haven't you? Yeah. That's what I mean. I'm to help you cross with the lintel and everything, and then I'm going to go. <clears throat> so, yeah. The day's just got away from us again. But it was pitch black and raining this morning, so we didn't bother first thing. Oh yeah, and look, quick one. If you're doing a 150 cavity, get yourself two foot, 600 damp. I'll show you the right label. Not 600, because uh, 18 inch 450 damp is a bit of a stretch to get up and over, especially if you're going up higher. So get your 600, you can always cut it down. It's very struggling. We have to finish early. Oh. Mind you, three o'clock isn't it? At least it's going dark at three o'clock. this space <laughs> you know watch this space that'll be that'll be changing soon so 
Yeah, it's um, we still in the old van. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a different van. Picked up today, so that's why we're late getting here. So it's twelve o'clock. Very, very windy. It's yeah. storm something or other. Named by the de 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 people in Denmark. What? <laughs> you said very, very windy. <laughs> well, it is, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, we just brought the basics to get a few course of bricks thrown on the pike side. We forgot the scaffold because we always forget something. <laughs> and um, we're just going to do what we can. Use, use up what we can. Get the steel round, which is here, which is um, intrusive, even though it's fashion. I forgot to ask to get the holes drilled in it for the wall plate to be attached. So that's missing about two, four, six, eight, ten. It's missing about twelve holes. So that's another job we've got to do. Luckily, it's not too thick steel. It's about eight mil that. So we were given some good um, bits for drilling steel, so it shouldn't be too bad. Plus, we'll get it in position before we drill it, and then Neil can tell us where he wants the holes drilling. Um, loads of sand left, loads of blocks. So we don't need any materials. Everything's here. We just need to get going what we can. And we're going to clear some of these boards away today, so it's all gone for Christmas. So it's not like a tip. Can't get rid of this before Christmas because we still need it. And I don't think they're collecting this week anyway. Not this close anyway. I don't know when they finish. So, um, yeah. Let's get round there and um, get something done. Be alright, come on. How is it? Heavy. Yeah? That is friggin' heavy. Is it? Oh, yes. No. Yeah. Let me get in position first. Here. Oh, right, let's get you attached and I'm steer it. Hold on. Happy Christmas Eve Eve, 23rd, yeah, 23rd of December, and we're back on the job. Reason being, this is a first dry day for a while, and um, currently on the phone, so I forgot the camera, because that's left on my desk. But uh, we want to try and get this steel in on here, get the brickwork over the top of it, and get the two pieces cut at either end, because um, the wall plate's going straight on that, nothing over the top. So we can get that done, and that side's finished, that side's finished too. I've just got the pipe to do. And then if we get set up, then I can come in and do the pike after Christmas when Alex is still in Sweden. I think I can probably manage that. So it's after 10 o'clock now, it just took us that long to get, get organised and get down here. Um, and then there's still a few flags to do, which I want to try and get done today as well. The cracked ones, I'm probably stood on, but there's one, there's two. There and there. I think the, uh, the digger trundling through is cracked them. There's a crack one there under the radio, and there's a couple of wonky ones up where the door is. So they'll be getting relayed, and I think there's another two down there. So we'll see how that goes. So um, that'd be idea we can get that done. So there you go. Alex is just bringing the, the, the small planks round because we're going to put our two little towers up either side here. One there, one there. Nick a couple of planks off the main scaff, to bridge across, and then get this steel up which is heavy, but it's not genie lift heavy. And even if it was genie lift heavy, everywhere's closed. 
So there's no doing this today. You want to be careful. He's not well today. Hopefully he'll, hopefully he'll be better if he goes to Nears on the 28th. 28th, yeah. yeah. So let's get this thing up and see how we get on. Right, we're up. Well, between me and my bike tip and my bad shoulder and Alex being under the weather, it's like one man lifting the steel. We're really struggling. I, I know we should have got a gene lift, but we've had terrible weather. We've had, we've had, we've been coming and going. I thought that it would be lighter than it is, but there was that plate welder on it makes you really heavy. And we've just said now, we're just going to um, put the extra pricing on the next jobs to, to use the actual lintel instead of using steels all the time because it's, it's just ridiculous Hodgson's closed yesterday for Christmas so we can't even nip and nip, get a, a genie um, my fault for not checking but even though we wouldn't have had a chance to get it on before today now if it doesn't go in today it's going to be second week in January before we can finish this thing when Alex is back so we're just muddling through what we did in the end I couldn't film it because the phone kept blowing over we took it back off the scaffold, dropped it down, took, put it on the wheels out to there, got it onto the scaffold, up, and slid it up using the wheels until we broke its back, and then slid it on my back. So now we've only got to less than 80 inches. So we're going to get it up onto the hop ups. So it's pretty much level with the wall, and then just up and on. It needs bedding on, but once we've got it in a position, we can just lift it and put a bed underneath it. Because it won't need much of a bed, because that is not moving anywhere. So, um, yeah, he's really struggling. It's like about heavy cold. Hopefully it's not COVID. So, um, right, let's get this thing up onto that wall. How's it going? Um, you have to flip me out. I'm feeling myself. Right, there you go, there's where we're up to. I know we should have got a genie lift, but we ran out of time. We were, we couldn't make it in here to get it in before ever we shot. So it's good. I'm waiting for me. 
if we, if we realised we'd have done this sooner. A lot sooner, in the rain. We just stayed away because of the weather. If we realised we'd have just come and done it in the rain. But um, we didn't think we'd be here the day before Christmas Eve trying to do this. But um, that's what we're up to. I can't physically lift that thing. So we're doing it block by block to get it near enough in position, then we can go up and on. It's not fun. And this is by under no circumstance we should ever copy what we're doing here because it's stupid and it won't be happening again I tell you this will be my new year's resolution over overcompensate for anything like this and we're going to try and avoid these steals altogether and try and we're, in, we're, uh, we're actually talking to Keystone Lintels at the moment about their new um, high therm cavity lintels isn't it which have a plastic top so it's got a, a cold bridge and brake on it well, if, we, if it all works out, we'll fill you in on that, but that, hopefully they'll be supplying the proper lintels instead of these massive steels. This isn't even a big one. That's why I thought it'd be okay to lift him, but with it being up in a 3, 330 plate, the plate's all the weight. The actual steel's only 178 high by 100. I could lift that in a doddle, but it's the plate. And it's not just the plate's weight, it's the width. It's just, it just throws all our box for lifting. It wasn't so spread out because, like Dad just said, with it being 150 more cavity, you can't stand close to it. It'd be can like you? that much. It'd be that much smaller, which we can handle. It's just yeah. trying to balance the weight on those space. This is the first downside we found about the big cavity. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So um, I'll try and get the phone set up and film it, but um, we'll see.
can probably see by the camera lens and the sky in my jumper it's just pulled down so we're not going to risk it because once we've got that up four courses there's no way of covering that without it getting blown away it's still um it's still a weather warning till midnight tonight so i'm pretty glad we didn't do anything today actually because it would have got ruined because it's blowing straight against the front of the, the extension well we've loaded it out we've brought the steel over and we've got sand ready for a half a mix so. yeah and we also know the steel needs drilling so we can be equipped for it when we come back yeah, yeah i forgot to ask jm to drill the steel out because to be perfectly frank my head has been up my ass for the last two weeks and i've barely been able to function never mind remember things like that it's been a really really stressful couple of weeks and uh, it's been hard work just glad for this one here and his mum for looking after me just redoing the bricks so it's see where it's blowing up what i'll do is i'll patch some pavers up to, to spin around the other way to stop it flipping up we just yeah, we just put an extra few bricks on just to make sure nothing gets uncovered. We don't want these frogs getting any water in them, and then we're bugging off. I think uh, we're just going to get the van. We're going to take a few boards back with us that we don't need, get them off site. That's a good Al. Maybe bring the line down a little bit. Hmm? Maybe bring the line down a touch to pin it a bit lower. Not too much, probably out of course. Yeah, that'll do. So. Yeah, it wasn't a complete waste of time. We got a nice bacon butty out of it. <laughs> I had a sausage and bacon, that was delicious, and I had a sausage. So, we're going home. Yeah. Let's go. Let's load all the loose boards up in the van and get going. So, I'll catch you in a bit. Happy New Year, January the 6th. And I'm currently at. JM, where we get our steel from. And then um, this, well, not that, my little, my little cutter for cutting in steel. I had two. The first one eventually wore out after four holes. The second one just disintegrated first go. So I've just been to pay my bill from before New Year for the extension run now. Went to buy a couple more of the bits, and Paul said, they're no good, then we should do a borrow our mag drill. So, Thank you Paul for lending us your mag drill. So I'm going to take this back now, get the rest of the holes drilled out, which is fantastic. So helpful of them, save me buying all the extra bits as well. So yeah, I'm going to get back to the job, get the rest of these holes drilled out for Neil, and I uh, hope this rain stays off. Thanks again, JM Steel. Pause that, take a note of that. Great service. Right, ten past one. That's half a day there you go, and a bit more. New lead, Steve. Hey? New lead. Yeah, just saying to, to Louie, when you get to my age, Christmas is going to be a bit boring. What does? Christmas is going to be a bit boring. <laughs> We walk, you don't do extension cables because it's still bad for stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't need extension cables. I want that. 60 quid now. But it's 40 metre and it's metal. Yeah. It don't last long, though. Right, let's see how this thing works. I've still got one, but it keeps tripping out. There's something wrong with it. Magnet's good. Oh yeah, oh, right. you've got a six inch cavity there. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
It's just because it's all covered up. Yeah. yeah. This one's going to be slightly lopsided. See that? That's when really, my really bit went blunt. I think right. it's overheated it and like tempered it. Right. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. There you go, 23. Cameron's making funny noises because it's got wet. Been back to JM. They were fine about it. They said it's probably just a blunt bit. So, there's me feeling bad because I thought someone lent me some gear and I broke it. But it was just a... Just needed a new bit. just bringing towels round while it's tidy, it's cleared up. So yeah, let's start this end now. 100ml in, roughly position, just try it. Basically it's a magnetic pillar drill. Get it where you want it, mag on, now it's solid and then you just Get cracking.
there you go. Two, four, six, eight. I did eight holes quicker than I did one up there. So it just shows how blunt it was. That was that. It's not even sticking to it, look. It's getting magnetic before because it got, got all hot and everything was sticking to it. Fantastic piece of kit, that. Thanks so very much to Jane for lending me that. That's, that's made such a big difference and taught me a lesson. Don't forget to ask Jane to do, this, do the drilling before they deliver the steel. Would have been a bit lighter lifting up as well. Yeah, so that's that's for Neil now to drill through the wall plate and bolt down to the steel. Because obviously there's no point bedding it onto the steel. And the steel's slightly lower than that side, so this port wall plate has to be built up slightly. He's took the ridge out for the the ridge to go in. So we've got a pencil mark over there, pencil mark here. So he's going to come on um, Tuesday just to mark it up exactly for us. And that'll give us a line we can transfer to the front then and get that pipe built. Which should be quite quite a big pike, mind you. It's quite a bit of it built already. But uh, the boot tools, Alex will be back from Sweden on Monday. So I'm looking forward to get it finished. It's, it's a big gap up when you when you don't finish a job over Christmas. It's left for a long time. Not very good for the customers, but like it said on the news today, we had 40 days, 40 days of rain every single day in the UK. So I'm packing up and going home now.